All right, everyone, welcome to Rotting Acres Mall. Let's go ahead and get this mall moving. And uh, this episode, what I wanted to do was uh, add another floor. You can see our mall is pretty busy. We're at you know, a little over 460 customers. So um, I, think, I think it's time to add a floor and add some more stores. So we're also doing pretty good money-wise, so I think we'll be fine there. So, are you sure you want to add a new level to the mall? Yes, we are. So now... Oh, that's it. We only get three floors, huh? Okay. So now we need to start building floors. So... Let's build out this area first, because this gives us a couple of anchors and stuff. One of our employees is blocked. That, that's not good. That's never good when that happens. All right. Um, let's pause mall time. I think that might be part of the problem. And let's start building some floors. What kind of floor do we want to go for on the second floor? I guess feeling like we got red on the first floor and purple on dang it that's not the button I wanted and uh, purple on the second floor oh hey the mayor calls our mall an aesthetic asset just like uh, rotting just like uh, our banner here all right, anyways, uh, floor color. I don't want to do purple again. <clears throat> Ooh, that's... That one's interesting. I was thinking something uh, more of a pattern. Like, I, I, you know, like that or... Like, I like that except for it's red. Oh, I like that. Wow, there is a lot of choices. Wait a minute. So can you do... Okay, yeah, you can. Okay. So what do we got here? Uh, the red one looks like Twin Peaks. Ladybug pattern. Ah. Uh, I'm I'm feeling something. Let me look here. Like what is that? Okay. Does that match? I don't know. Like I'm thinking like using that border around something like this or not like this like where was that like this Let's see what that looks like I wish there was like an undo well, I guess I didn't need to go all the way Yeah, then I can see what this looks like. Whoops, I can see what this looks like. Yeah, I already kind of don't like that, though. I feel like that's not com colorful enough already. Because then I was thinking, you know, like... Order... It, yeah, no. I don't like any of that. Never mind, that's yucky. I think I just wasted some money. Yeah, let's go with something more colorful, i thinking. Somebody said green. I don't want to go with the grass. No. Welcome to Rotting Acres Mall, where we look at floor samples. <laughs>
Yeah, let's go with this Paisley. That like that's obnoxious and loud. I like that. Okay, so we'll have to redo that. Okay. We'll have to find some find some uh, walls that actually match this. What's being built? We're we're adding a uh, third floor to our mall. Oh, I don't think I wanted to put. Oh, good, it didn't let me. Okay, how much of this have we... I think that's a good start. Okay. Now we need some walls. Ew. Brick. Eh. Hey, Andrew. Glad you caught a live one, finally. I want something, like... Wood, is there a wood paneling, like a wood grain one? That one's kind of interesting. That looks dirty. Oh, I think we used that, didn't we already, wood paneling? Ooh. Wow, there's like so many choices. I think we need something, yeah, like that. Like a nice rich wood to go with that obnoxious red carpet. Okay, let's try... Build some walls. Hopefully this goes right. Oh, we missed a spot. Man, this is a mismatch, mish, mishmash mall. Mishmash mall. <laughs> Oh, thank you, Rebecca M. I appreciate that. We got a four ninety nine super chat from Rebecca. She says, uh, "Mall expansion fund." I appreciate that. Oh, I oh. put a wall where I didn't want it. Let me fix that real quick. Of course, it's gonna blow out the floor. We'll fix that later. I'm clicking on the spot. There. I don't know why that was so hard? You have to be very precise with your, see, with your mouse clicks. Like, you can kind of click and drag, but you have to be really careful. But we need all these little, this is where the shops go. Oh, another one. There's a dying mall in Sherman, Texas that has a store called Mishmash. Really, what do they, what do they sell? What did Mishmash sell in Sherman, Texas? Oh.
Use the auto wall feature. I, you know, it doesn't work. I've tried it and it makes a mess every time. Usually I'm not this horrible. What it is, is I think my hands are a little bit, um, they're a little shakier than normal just cause I'm tired. It's been a long week, uh, at work. And then also, um, you know, just getting videos done and stuff for the channel. And like I was mentioning earlier, if you haven't seen the new Toys R Us video, that was, uh, that's a video that I'm pretty proud of that came out today, but, um, it was a lot of work and also, um, not a fun video to make, you know, kind of just emotionally taxing, I guess it's a depressing subject. You played Mall Tycoon 2 and kept going bankrupt. I, I have a feeling Mall Tycoon, like, they get a little bit harder from what I understand. Um, at some point I would like to try another one of the sequels, like Mall Tycoon 2 or 3. But I'm just happy that we got uh, Rotting Acres Mall here back alive again. But yeah, back to, to this... To, to this video that it came out today that I that I put out it was it was emotionally taxing to make I'm not gonna lie it was it's a it's a it's a damn it it's a bummer of a subject really and one that you know Toys R Us going away was so avoidable I'm gonna have so much stuff to go back and correct So we're not going to do the full third floor yet. We're just going to make the third floor uh, one small section for now. Is that it? Is that the whole thing? Except for... Yeah, except for a couple of areas I got to correct real quick. Okay. I hate that it blows the floor out too, man. Come on, there we go. Where else? I know there was one other one. Oh, right there. Okay, and now we just need to fix the floors real quick. Floors are so much easier than walls. Oh, there's one other spot there I see that's screwed up. And... Boom. Okay. Now, I think it, by default... Ooh, no, I don't want to exit. I think by default it just makes your anchors another floor. Yeah, but I don't want to do that. I want to make these new stores because I've got a couple of ideas in mind. All right, so here we go. Here's our here's our third floor. We've got a uh, elevator there, and where are the escalators at? Where where? Right there. Okay. So can I put Can I put another set of escalators right on top of it? Will that work? Whoops. Oh, it looks like it would have to be... Oh, I see what we can do. We'll put it there. Right, and then those will go... Okay, cool, there we go. 
Is that an elevator? No, that's a kiosk right there. Okay, so we've got an elevator up. Do I have to... No, that... So then I probably should put some stairs in somewhere, too. Where could I put stairs? Oh, right there. Okay. Why is this being so difficult? There we go. that there. What about... No, never mind. Maybe we, maybe we don't need stairs. That's like, ugly. Like, I feel like that's a safety thing. Like, we need to have... But I also don't know if that really matters in this game. And, uh... It's also not aesthetically pleasing to me, so we're just gonna be like Elon Musk and, and not make things safe. <laughs> Okay, anyways, let's, um, this first anchor, what I wanted to do is, it sucks that you have to do it this way, but I know that this is how I did it, um, on the other floor. Okay, now that's a new anchor. New store added. Okay, I want to make this a Mervin's. I want to have a Mervins. Let's just double check real quick and make sure the mall doesn't have a Mervins before I do that. But I'm like 99% certain we don't. Because that's one I've been wanting to add for a while. Oh, we don't have one yet. Okay, good. So generally, a Mervin's carries... That's not what we want. Um, let's see. Generally, Mervin's will carry men's apparel, women's apparel, kids' apparel. So let's, we'll add those things. And then what else? Shoes? We get a fourth slot. We we do have we have a Kmart already. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna say shoe well, let's see here. Cause I don't think anything well housewares, they used to sell that kind of stuff. Is like linens one of the things in here? It's so hard when they only give you four slots. Let's just, I'm gonna do shoes because that's what we used to buy at Mervyn's a lot was shoes. So there we go. And something else I'm going to have to ask the chat to help me on with is how is Mervin spelled? Because I can't remember. I think it's. I think that's right. We can always change it later. Now, our Mervins always had like. That gray... Ooh, let's go with brown. Yeah, that's awful.
I like it. There we go. And I want 10% of their sales. And I don't know. That looks good. Making it up as I go. Cool. So now we got a Mervin's. Now on this other end, I want to put another anchor store. Because what is it? Hold on. Yes, our Sears does not need a third floor. Well, or our Sears could have a third floor. Should we make another smaller anchor, or should we... Should we just make the Sears a third floor? Let me see what our Sears is carrying right now. Hold on. Um... Here we've got men's pair, women's pair, furniture and appliances. Okay. Oh. Oh, I see. Okay, hold on. You know, it doesn't have like kids clothes, shoes, stuff like that. What do you guys think? I'm going to put up to a vote. Should we uh, should we make the Sears a third floor and just add more goods to the Sears? Or should we make that um, another anchor store? We just added a Mervin's. Miller's Outpost. We do need a Miller's Outpost. Uh, we already have a Toys R Us. Three-story Sears with an eatery. Did Sears usually have eateries? That sounds like not a bad idea. We'll put a Montgomery Ward in the mall at some point. We'll get there. I'm liking the idea of the third story Sears just because a lot of Sears there there were a lot of three story Sears but they're not um they're not really a thing anymore. So we can add uh children's apparel shoes I like the idea of an eatery What's a Mervin's? Mervin's was a department store that was in on the west west coast. So we they were in California. We had them in Arizona. They're they're similar, I would guess, to a Bonton. I guess the Bonton maybe was maybe a little more upscale than Mervin's. Mervin like Coles. That's a good, another good a good uh, analog. Is is it's very Mervin's was very similar to Coles. Um. Forget. Do we have? Sure, hold on. What do we have now? Oh, uh, no. So we have men's apparel, women's apparel, furniture, appliances, radio and TV, lawn and garden. Oh, we have appliances twice. Household good, kids apparel, shoes. Hmm. Let's put, okay, I got it. Let's put, let's put an eatery. And then Sears used to all the time have all kinds of weird services and stuff. Watch and jewelry repair. That's what we're going to put in here. Because we don't have a watch and jewelry repair. Okay, so now our Sears is filled out. We've got a three-story Sears. We've got a Mervin's. Uh, let's add a few more shops. So, right here. Put a small shop in. And... 
I know what I want this to be. I just gotta find it. There it is. Joseph, this is for you. They're not gonna make very much selling perfume. Okay, so we have a Perfume Mania store now, and Joseph, they do carry Adrian the fragrance, so. There you go. Okay, also, I w okay, so I want to add another snacky place here, and then maybe like one or two restaurants. So, let's do this. Not one or two restaurants, one or two stores, I mean, I'm sorry. This is actually perfect. All right, we've got a Wetzel's Pretzels. We've got I, we've got a few pretzel places. What's another good mall snack food place? Right, like pretzels, like like a funnel cake place. I remember there was a lemon. There used to be a lemonade place. Mrs. Fields Cookies. Is there, is cookies a thing? Hold on. It's not. We could have like a coffee shop. What about a coffee shop? Like the, co like the coffee beanery? Remember that being a thing. Hmm. Because I don't see cookies. Chocolates, pretzels, pizza, ice cream. I think we have a TCBY already. Let's put a coffee shop in here. That actually makes sense. Let's do that. For what I, because of what I want to put right there. Oh, why juice though? No, I don't like that. I, I want it to look more like a coffee shop. Yeah, I don't like that. What about a deli? Is there like a little deli or something? We have an Orange Julius already. I mean, I guess you could have more than one. That is a thing. Oh, you know what? I know what we can do. We can do pretzels because there's another pretzel place we don't have. Cinnabon, Subway. Yeah, Subway is boring. I'm seeing a request for a Yankee Candles Company. We'll put that in before the end of the episode. You know what? A Schlotzky sounds good. Let's do that. Hopefully whoever spelled that spelled it right. Hold on, it went by too fast. Whoa. Just because uh, we recently looked at a Schlotzky's Deli in a video that I did recently of uh, a live tour that I did of a shopping center that I went to growing up has a has a Schlotzky's in it. Okay, so there's the Schlotzky's. Now the reason I wanted to put something there is right here uh, we had advertised on the Rotting Acres Mall Twitter account, which you can follow at Rotting Acres on Twitter, that the mall would be getting a dial-up internet access area. So let's build that out real quick. We're going to need, 
Let's see. The decor stuff. So yeah, we're gonna where is it? We'll need a payphone. Not a map. Is payphone an option? Thought it was. Banners, benches, columns. Yeah. Well, I know I want a, a set of table and chairs, so. I like those ones. So I'll put that there. There. I really thought there was a. There it is. Is that. Telephones and ATMs, okay. No, not an ATM. Hmm. Wait a minute. There we go. And then maybe one more. Maybe a bench. No, that's not going to work either. I'll do a tree. No, not spring decor. There we go. Now we have our new internet dial-up access area right there. <laughs> okay. Let's put uh let's put like two more stores in cuz we need to fill out. Let's put another um right next to the I know perf or candles was one. Where was that? Was that here? Where did we see candles? Not under services. Housewares? Ah, there we go. Oh, I've got to put in a store first. There we go. That's got the same storefront. We're going to have to change the storefront. Okay, what are we naming the candle company? Is it New Yankee? Somebody was requesting this in the chat, and I, and I lost the candle store they were requesting. Let's see if I can Is it just called Yankee Can isn't it New Yankee Candle Company? Am I not record remembering that right? We can change it later. The New Yankee Can okay. I thought it was something like that. Okay. We need, whoops, not that. Yep, there we go. We need a good two slot store. Yeah, look at that. The floor is white. Let's see if we can. Oh, 
There we go. Is it like that anywhere else? Doesn't look like it. Okay. Deb. We can do that. I've had several requests for that. Now, I am not super familiar with Deb. I believe that was like a women's clothing company, wasn't it? I don't know exactly what a deb is, so I can't add that one. Um, we can add a Disney store. That's not a bad idea. Disney store would probably be what, like toys and kids clothes? Yeah, let's do that. Okay. So, kids apparel and, oh, I already like the goofy shit that it picked. And isn't toys? There it is, right? No discovery, novelties, collectibles, toys. There we go. And this is the Disney store and it's Disney they've got deep pockets so I want that money all right we got to add a few more things real quick and then wow we spent the whole episode just building on the mall and and not really doing much else but that so I guess you could say it's been a uh, product productive episode from that respect. But here's what I wanted to do was uh, map. Oh, I like that one. We'll put a map right there. And... Gotta have an ATM. Signs? I don't even think I've looked at those before. That's funny. What is this? Lamps? I could just get lost in this game, man. There's like, you, you could really... I feel like we need a fountain. Hold on. That's fancy. Okay, and then let's add some some benches around it real quick. Whoops. That's not where I wanted to put that. Is it going to tear up the hole in the ground if I do this? Oh good, it didn't. What the hell is that? What? 
There we go. Look at that. We got a sculpture and everything. And we've got some stores. Let's turn them all back on. Let's see if anybody comes up here. Oh, whoa, that sculpture moves. Oh, and how do I have an employee block from doing his rounds? Where? Where? A customer complained that Sears charges too much. Yeah, go figure. Something I was always curious about was, can you put another atrium? If you wanted to, like, could I put an atrium right up on the... No, I don't... God, those are huge. We are losing customers again. How is that possible? Where do I have an employee? I wish it would tell me. Well, we're starting to get customers up here. Wait, is that a zombie? There's a customer following. What's he do? What's his plan up here? He's on his way to Mervyn's. And he's now he's at Mervyn's. Wow, our customer count is dropping again dramatically. I wonder why. Everybody's complaining that the mall charges too much, or that everyone's charging too much at the mall too, but we are, we do have customers streaming up here. Are we getting zombies again? Maybe. We'll have to figure that out. I don't see, I'm going to have to figure out what, what is blocking where we have a, an employee blocked. One of your employees is blocked. I don't think that was a problem until, uh... Oh no, it's going back up again now, the customer, and then back down again. It's fluctuating quite a bit. Maybe we just made them all too big for its own good. I don't know. We'll see. Anyways, I think we're going to wrap it up here, guys. The stream's been running uh, a little bit long. So I hope you guys enjoyed this installment of Welcome to Rotting Acres Mall. If you haven't watched my new video on Toys R Us that I put out today, uh, check that out for sure. Um, also check out my video exploring a abandoned really nasty shopping center. That was the other video I put out this week. And that place was gross. That's a good video as well. So uh, yeah, depressed egg. There are zombies. All malls are too big. Uh, well, our, our customer count's going back up again. It looks like we've got people shopping. This is the second floor. First floor looks like it's still pretty busy. We got a car show going on, so and we just got customers complaining left and right that things are too expensive. So uh, make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't done that again. And as always, guys, uh, have a good night from Rotting Acres Mall.